So how old are you? I'm nine turning 10 this year. When's your birthday? November 22nd. What school do you go to? North. Yep. North Lake Woods. How has it been with um, like being at home all the time? I, I love it because I can play video games all day. What are what are some of your hobbies? I like playing video games and swimming. Which video games? Minecraft and Roblox mainly. I have a cousin which often comes and swims with me and plays video games with me. Nice. Are you a good swimmer? Yeah. Can you hold your breath the whole length of the pool? No. What is your favorite food? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese with ketchup? No. No. No sauces. <laughs> Not ever. Um, the regional coordinator actually reached out to me, uh, and I think Karen, uh, the director of corporate communications, uh, told her that we had a very successful fundraiser last year, so that was the first time we had done the walk because it was the first year after he was diagnosed. So, um, you know, it became a little bit more personal for me. Mm -hmm. and thankfully, I've got very generous coworkers and family and friends, so it was a good, it was a good fundraising event last year. The regional uh, coordinator, she just thought that because Equitable is such a big local sponsor, that it'd be great to have a family from Equitable be the ambassador. So now we're going to be leading the, the little parade groups that go around the block. And um, he's a bit shy and uh, Krista had said that he doesn't need to do a lot of public speaking. Okay. just has to kind of stand and, and wave, do the royal wave. I wish other people would know how challenging it can be. It can be really hard. Um, it was much harder, I have to admit, when he was younger. Okay. So um, he had a, a fair amount of aggression when he was little. So in the classrooms, uh, a lot of kids didn't want to hang around too much right. because he was really aggressive. Right. So. Um, that was harder for both of us back no, then. No, actually, I was just too hyper. <laughs> so he was excluded a little bit from social games. And uh, honestly, I think I kind of missed out a little bit on the parent circuit just because there were some exclusions. Right. So then you kind of miss those, uh, you know, networking connections. So it's been tough, but uh, it's been getting easier as he ages. What kind of things do you like to do in the sensory room? Spin. Spin, yeah. There's there's things for bouncing and spinning and you know and, uh, different Sometimes textiles. set up obstacle courses and do them. Yeah, so it's nice. It's so if he cool. just starts getting um, restless in his classroom, uh, he can take a break, go there for 10 to 15 minutes and then go back to class and he's ready to focus again. You know, leaps and bounds is different from when we were kids because back then, you know, if you have a kid that doesn't want to focus or has a hard time with self-regulation, um, they just kind of get marked as a bad seed. Right. Um, and now there's just so much more understanding and uh, I think the teachers, maybe we're just lucky with the teachers, but they really try to understand what he's struggling with at the time and they're really good at trying to come up with different approaches to help him get back into a positive mindset.